Welcome to this short video on Pipe Editor. The Pipe Editor tool allows you to easily edit your pipes in either plan or profile. I'm going to demonstrate this tool in the profile view. To get started, I'm going to come up to the Kobe Toolkit ribbon and I'm going to select Pipe Editor. At the command line, it says select your first part. So I'm going to select my very first structure and then it says select your last part. So I'm going to select this structure. A dialog box comes up and it also highlights all the pipes between the two structures that I selected. All of these pipes are the ones that are going to be affected by me editing it. So inside this dialog box, I have four areas I can edit. I can edit the start elevation, the slope, the drop, and the end elevation. So I'm going to quickly change this. I'm going to change this slope right now. It's got a star, meaning it's just holding what is currently there. I'm going to change this value to 1.7. And there you can see that the pipes have updated. The preview has. Now I want to set the drop. The drop's a little large in some areas here, so I want to set a global drop of 0.1. Once again, the preview is updated. Downstream, the pipes don't look correct. I really want them to match up with the end pipe here. But I want them to hold everything that they're doing so far. I like the grade, I like the drops. So I can click on Lock Downstream and I can select my last structure. And there you can see it's holding all the values for those pipes. It's just dropping them down so they match up with my last one. If I wanted to edit the end elevation, right now it's grayed out. I would click on the paddle lock and I could change that, but then something else will gray out. I can't change all four values at once. So I could say, yep, let's set that. And maybe I don't want to set the start elevation. And I could just quickly change this end elevation to say 31 even. I'm going to hit apply to update all these pipes and structures. And now I'm going to close the dialog box and we can see that all the pipes and the structures have been updated. This concludes this short video on Pipe Editor. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.